first of all, when you recover the rails, if you don't wrap this cloth around the back side of the rail, you got a shim up here tilting the nose of the cushion down. You don't have the cloth wrapped around here, so it helps tilt the rail down. Low nose height causes balls to hop. Then, no fold. Side pocket, great. Look at the stencil cut. You're cutting right through. If that was folded there, that wouldn't happen. The other thing is, look at the rounded cushion here. That's not putting a fold in. Then, as I say, the weakest point when you don't put a fold in is the point to the cushion. That's all four side pockets. That's what you get when you don't put the fold in the pocket. Six. 12, 18. Then the one thing you have to do with striking cloth is mark what is the playing surface side so you don't get confused yeah. and end up putting it on upside down. Yes, I am. And the cloth will tear straight if you're, if you're tearing it with grain, you don't have to cut your rail cloth the length of the bed cloth. As you can see, it's the same at this end as the other end, at six inches. That's six inches. Okay. And then if you look at the other end, that's six inches. It'll tear straight with grain. Cross grain? No. Okay. Cut cross grain. But you should never use uh, rail cloth from cross grain cuts. You should always get your rail cloth off the side. The stretch is the same. If you get it cross grain cut, the stretch is different on the rails. Changes the way to play the cushions play. People can do whatever they want. I'm just telling them what I don't do. Your woven wool like this, it's not really critical in the cross grain real cloths, but your worsted wools are definitely critical because they put pinpoint pressure on the uh, nose of the cushions.
This is a side pocket. Okay. You fold this. You fold it over like this. Tug it nice and tight. Pop two circles. See? Now that you got that, straighten your fold out. That pulls the fold up nice and tight. You take your scissors, cut this here overlap out. See this? Cut it out. Now, you come down here at the bottom to here, and you cut this out. Now, when you take and you fold this down, pull this fold here tight. Then, put a staple at the top right in there. That holds it nice and tight so that this fold never comes loose. Then, trim this out like that. Now, this piece, fold it over like this, put a stick there, staple there, staple there. Now, cut this out. You're all nice and tight. And it can't come loose because you got a staple right here locking everything in place. So you pull this open. You take this like this. You pull like this, pull it nice and tight. Fold it over. Staple there. Now, turn around. Hold this in place. Twist this over at the end here. Staple. Now, this staple. Okay, now turn around, come back to here, take this, twist this right here, one staple, two, three, four, five if necessary. And now the whole thing is closed off. Now take your scissors and cut out there. And which side is that one? This is a corner pocket. Corner pocket. Yeah. Right there. There's your real book. But that is so clean.